Hello everybody, welcome back once again to The Real World Prepper, and I am he. So, <clears throat> I put out that video earlier this morning that I recorded yesterday, and this brings another couple of things to mind. As I'm traveling from work into town, um, the nearest little town here where we did live, I, it dawned on me that, again, with uh, relearning how to prep, and things of that nature that I spoke on in that earlier video. I'm also going to have to reevaluate uh, and replan my escape route, my evacuation plan. Sorry for this thing, I'm just using my phone here whilst driving. I know, it's terrible, right? But uh, in a much earlier video of mine, I. Uh, back months ago, I talked about, you know, a, a bugging out or get home uh, situation where you want to find out the best routes, you want to know, uh, you know, want to have route A, route B, route C, you want to have a backup to your backup to your backup plan, you know, so let's say I'm at work, I, you know, I still work at the same place I did, uh, but I live several miles further from it than before so so that right there in and of itself is a disadvantage compared to where I did live however the advantage I would say for me in this situation is it is a much more rural route so uh, I would less likely encounter people see people uh, versus going through the city you know, and then the outlying towns that I would have to do, that I would have to do previously at the at the old home. So, it's a very important thing. I just want to bring it to your attention, okay? A lot of you guys that have been with me from the beginning, you've seen this, uh, you've heard me talk about this information uh, about making an evacuation plan, making a, a route, secondary route, third route, etc. All that good stuff. Again, sorry for the phone, but, uh, not cooperating but anyhow uh, so yeah you need you need to do that and you need to practice this route uh, I had practiced the route that I had uh, two of them I had an, a third that was planned but I never ran it because it was just literally through the woods or through wasn't on roads and uh, but I have done the other routes from the previous location. So I'll have to figure out what will be the right route and plan and backup plan and route for uh, for the new location. And again, considering that I've got further to travel and I've got, uh, frankly, more to carry now than I had before. Um, you know, your bug out bag should have everything you would need for, I'm going to say, a minimum of three days. And so that would go with me, as would a handgun, a sidearm, um, and quite likely uh, a rifle, which I keep in my vehicle at all times. So, you know, depending on the circumstances. And, uh, you know, my wife and I, Mrs. RWP and I, we're going to have to talk about uh, her route as well. And, uh, just things to consider it's just something else I wanted to bring to your attention something that uh, you know has dawned on me again I'm the real world prepper and so uh, uh, Midwest prepper he's got a channel check him out he uh, he had commented on that video earlier about you know he, he liked my approach in that it was no nonsense you know I'm not overly tactical and I'm not overly uh, uh, you know, self-sufficient and all this kind of stuff. I would love to be more tactical. I would love to be more self-sufficient, all of these things. But in the real world, most of us, you know, we have jobs and we're a part of society and, you know, in one way or another, whether we want to be or not, this is, this is the reality, you know, this is who we are in the world we live in. Some people I realize have, uh, have, sorry, have situations, you know, ha have things set up to where they can be more uh, self-reliant and, and, and on their own and all that. You know, I like people. I like 
being around people and, and most times and uh, having a community and that kind of thing so you know I mean most of us do most of us whether we like it or not we are part of society you know we have a job and we have responsibilities and we have to go take care of things and go places and do you know whatever so you've got to consider your route so in this case right now what I'm telling you guys right now is that for me you know if something went down right now this very minute and I had to get back to the house which is our game plan we're a bug in game plan we go to the house you know Mrs. RWP picks up little RWP uh, is the primary plan depends on our proximity to him nine times out of ten she's closer than I am so uh, you know, so that's that's the plan and then we get home and we group at home and figure out you know what we do from there so right now if it were to go down I mean we know the roads how to get there but do we have an alternate route do we have an alternate to the alternate at this point no so something to consider for not only me but uh, for you guys to consider this is something you need to think about I do believe it's very important you want to be able to get home you want to get home as uh, with this little trouble and interaction and stoppage as possible you know if that's your plan is to get home or wherever you're bugging out to if you've got a bug out location same thing and so if your job changes then you've got to figure that out from your job to your location or in, as in our case if our location our bug out location which is our home you know has now changed and it's further away so things to consider things we've got to think about just wanted to drop this on you a little reevaluation or relearning how to prep as Yoda said you must unlearn what you have learned again guys thanks for watching this brief video uh, check you next time real world prepper hope to have my internet uh, at area 53 up and running soon so I can do more real-time videos uh, from there like I did at the previous location uh, that video earlier I recorded um, at Area 53 yesterday and uploaded it from some internet that I was able to access in town this morning. So, same thing I'll be doing with this one. Anyway, check you guys next time. Real World Prepper, out. Thanks.